there's some uh, date functions that you can access to, to work with dates and times. Um, so I'm here on a page as a frame right now, and I'm just going to show you how some of these work. So um, if I wanted to make a timestamp for a particular date and time, I can do that. So I'm going to call this uh, Petter's Petter B Day. Um, and the function I'm going to use to make this timestamp is MK time. And then it has several parameters. Um, the hour, um, so I don't know exactly, but I think maybe I was born at 6 a.m. Um, the minutes, the seconds, the months um, with values 1 through 12, the day, and the year. And so this creates a timestamp. Um, if I look at it right now and just echo it out, um, then you're going to see it's a, just a really big number, and that is a number of milliseconds since a particular date in the past. Um, that's not that useful um, unless I want to figure out elapsed time, but I can extract pieces from it using a little um, function called date. So here's what that looks like. Um, I put date, and then actually the second parameter is the timestamp. But the first parameter is a formatting thing. Um, and there are a variety of formatting characters. And I'm going to provide you with a little chart that has all of them. Um, but let's say I just want to see um, the month, the day, and the year in the usual format we see these things. So the formatting character for um, the full month name is capital F. And the formatting character for the day of the month is a J. And usually it's like month name, date, comma, year. So I'm going to put a comma in here. And capital Y is for the full four-digit year. And so um, these special letters will pull out a piece of this timestamp and translate it into something that's better for humans. But anything else I put in here will also show up. So these spaces and this comma will also show up. So if I go up and look at my page and refresh it, here we got July 14th, 1978. Okay. Um, I can also pull out times if I want to. Um, so if I wanted to, let's just put a break in here so we can see what we're doing. If I wanted to see um, the time of that timestamp, my format could be the hours, um, the minutes, and then maybe I want an AM, PM specifier. So let's see what that gives me. So here it's uh, 4.30 PM. Oh, I forgot to give it the, the actual timestamp. Um, I'll explain what it was showing me before in a second. So with the timestamp, there it's the, the time that I set, which is 6 a.m. Um, so one thing you might want to do is you might want to make a timestamp with right now. And right now will be whenever that page actually gets delivered down to somebody's browser. So I can do that um, in one of two ways. I can make time and give it new parameters, and then this will print out um, right now. So let's see if this is right. I print out the date. I'll comment this one out for a second. Let's see if it gives me what date this is. February 7th, 2018. It is, in fact, that date at the time of making this video. And um, the other option is that I can literally forgo with the, this timestamp entirely and just leave the second parameter of the date function out. Um, and that will give me that information for right now. So there it is, February 7th, 2018. Um, something I want to show you is if I look at the time for right now, um, I'm going to comment this one. So I'm going to leave the second parameter out of this. If I look at the time for right now, it's going to show me that it is 4.32 p.m. Now I'm looking at the time on my computer and it says 11.32 a.m. So what it is showing me is a time that is not in my time zone. So something I want to do if I'm working with times is I want to go ahead and change the time zone to be mine so my calculations and that sort of thing still works. So here's what I got to do. Date, default, time zone, uh, set, and we are at Eastern Standard Time in Maryland. So I'm going to set that to EST, and then things should show up the way I expect them to. And now it says it's 1132, which it in fact is at the moment I'm making this video. Okay. Um, 
you're not limited to just printing out this date. So let's say I wanted um, to extract uh, like just a piece of it. So I could say like the month um, for me would be uh, F comma header E day. And the month now is this. And then I could see like if these are the same. Or B day month. Oh my God. indentation's all messed up because I left this curlies out. Okay, so I can use pieces of this to determine things if I'd like. Let's see. It should show me it's not my B-Day month because it is February and not July. Um, so I can pull out chunks of this. I can also um, just use this straight up, um, these two make times, and I can see how much time has elapsed. Born uh, is what now minus Petter B day. So that's how many milliseconds have elapsed since I was born. Now, a more useful thing to do might be to um, set a timestamp in the future and maybe show content only up till a certain date, or set a timestamp in the future and only reveal content at a certain date. Or you could, if you were like monitoring how long somebody's on a page, you could set a timestamp the moment they loaded the page. Um, and then when some other action happened, like a form submit or whatever, you could get a new timestamp and see what the difference is or something like that. But this is how you work with some of the date functions in PHP.